Hello once again everyone and welcome to uh, Divine Divinity. Uh, welcome back. So we spoke with the Paladin. We are supposed to uh, arrange a um, an escort for the healers so that we can go to this place in Rivertown, Stormfist, Stormfist Castle. So we are gonna hit the way. Uh, this guy's gonna stay here protecting and whatnot. But there is a few things I believe, like around Alaroth before we go. I mean around from outside it's gonna be orcs. That's one thing. I got the staff. The staff is for uh, physical damage apparently. So you see it's full of orcs more than anything. Just let me have a look around. If I wasn't making the series, I'd probably be um, just cleaning all the map, you know? That's not what we want. We don't want to waste too much time. But nonetheless, there is a few, uh, I believe there is a few things around that are somewhat important. If they aren't, well, there is one particular thing here. Oh, no, the stamina. Can I kill these guys? Oh, yeah. They are not much of a threat. Right here, outside of Aleroth. Oh, my God. There is the... There is supposed to be the teleporter stone. Ah, adds a minor resistance to lightning bonus to an item that can be charmed. Ah, oh, that's interesting. But yeah, here it is. I don't know how to use this. Very well. I don't know how to use this. So we need to find a couple of scrolls in order to be able to use these things. But we are gonna follow this path towards the towards our next destination. Uh, I'm guessing we're gonna be killing the morgs in the way. Remember, we are making good use of the uh, teleporter stone. Because mana is a thing. Hmm. Oh, those are stronger. I'm gonna turn around, I'm gonna turn around. Nice and easy, one at a time. Very well. I'm gonna use a stupid teleporter stone. Do we have like any garbage to sell? Not much, just a lot of food. Thing is, I, I don't use it because we're, we're using the the stone and whatnot. Uh, I should be looking at what more skills do we got though. Or later. But yeah, I am not doing the usual leveling, the usual farming that you should be doing in this game. So at least the orcs I'm gonna I'm gonna be killing, you know. Uh, I'm gonna put some. I don't know. I'm 
when it comes to these things, there is a particular skill that I've been interested in. The only thing is that I do not remember which one it is. It's a lightning uh, looking. Maybe, maybe I had to level up more. This one we got, right? We do. But this is level 2. Mm, that could be useful. Wonderful. Let's not look too much into it. We're still in the very beginning. Oh, some of these guys are tough. But yeah, let me know if you're watching now, if you want uh, more content, more uh, more hours of gameplay, but a squeeze into shorter videos like Super Cups. Or if you want me to cut as, um, as little as I can in case, so you cannot miss anything sort of thing. Those kind of things interest me a lot because I I am not particularly sure how I want to address this series. It is very uh, it's very uh, particular is the word because it's a lot of game. It's, it's not big or massive, but it's got a lot of things to do and you have to uh, run around killing orcs. Like you see, these are soldiers now. They are dead, they fall into the orcs. And, and, and keep in mind that this is easier than usual. Uh, going with a mage does make the game easier. A while back I had a... I kind of started the game on, on stream. And I was playing the... Well, the Conan guy, the guy from the cinematic, right? Yeah, it's always oh. the same old story. John do this, John do that. I swear this is the last bloody time I do their dirty work. Sending me up to hunt down some piggy little human. I just not appreciate it, that's the trouble. <laughs> that smell. Could it be? If. That's what I think it is. Mistress Fortune must be smiling on me. <laughs> I think I'm gonna get home sooner than the other. Very well. What are you gonna do? Well, 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 if it is in one of the marked ones, remember that lot. You have to keep that in mind. I'm wandering around in the woods like a little lost lambkin. Okay. You're mistaking me for some somebody else? Who are these mad ones yeah, you're looking for? Lizard Jockey. <laughs> Lizard Jockey. I love to chat, but as you can see, uh, well, we're not telling this. We've got no idea what he's talking about at the moment. Uh, your aura betrays you, piggy human. There is no mistake. Mad one you are. And for that, I, uh, in the Lizard Jockey remark, you are about to die. Wait, damn you. What's the uh, this aura you're talking about? What? You don't know? By the Chaos Lord, that's interesting. I wonder what it can mean. Well, it is a consideration for later. Now let's see if your impenetrable ignorance will stop me from cutting you. Damn. Very well then. Halt. One hit. Halt. Stay your hand, villain. You know this morning I thought this was gonna be a dull day. Now here's the famous Sandalore. Sandalore. Greetings, you old goat. I can honestly say that it's a pleasure to meet you. Be silent, servant of darkness. Get back. Leave, and you might yet survive to see another day. Oh, I think not old man. <sighs> my mistress will have my guts if I turn tail. So you see, my only hope of survival is to bring her your head. Oh. Your mistress will have to exercise some patience. 
The next time she sees you, we'll be in hell. Did you look at that? Provide me. Since I found you just in time. Well, a little late. Because I already died. Uh, let me have a look at you. Yes, yes. Ah, yes, well. That's a relief. Everything seems to be like it should be. Greetings, Mark One. My name is Sandalor. And you don't know how glad I am to see you. So, this is a guy from Original Sin. I, I got no idea about Original Sin. I have not played them yet. Um, but yeah, this is the first appearance of Sandalor. Um, and something else to remark on the story of this game, particularly, is that that guy who attacked us, it's a dragon... It's a dragon rider. But that's not a big dragon. They get much larger. And it's important to state the fact that he's a dragon rider, not a dragon knight. Because it's a different thing here. And in due time, you'll get to see why. But in the meanwhile, let's let's continue with this. Okay. Uh, that was damn close. Who was this creature? That, my friend, was a dragon rider. Haven't seen one of them in a long time. Nasty specimen, too. His presence here is proof that my suspicions were right. The Black Ring is aware of your existence. So the Black Ring, I think I explained this in episode 1 or 2 uh, with the whole cinematic in the beginning. Uh, but yeah, it's a, it's a old, old, old as hell cult that tried to kill this angel, this divine, they call it. That is split it in three and in, it sort of became or melted with humans and that's what happened to me to the character to the one in the cinematic that's why we are a marked one um okay uh to put an end to you as soon as possible right uh, who is the Black Ring? And why do they want me dead? They want you dead because you are one of the marked ones. Quite possibly the only living being who have, have it in them to thwart their foul plans. As to who they are, that's a long story. Known for now uh, that they are dark cult of evil sorcerers and witches. Why is everyone calling me a marked one? Isn't that obvious? Because you are a marked one, of course. Wait, wait a moment. You mean you don't know? Know what? Oh my, well, I'm afraid that explaining it uh, that explaining it to you will take quite some time. Look, first I have to go and find the third marked one. Yeah, because there is three people, as I told you. If the Black Ring know about you, uh, about your existence, they might also know about him too. I'm not happy about leaving you behind there, uh, especially since you seem ignorant about your own condition. But I think you should be safe enough for a while. Uh, what I suggest is that you go to the Dwarven Bread Inn and wait for me there. Uh, when I found the third Mark one, uh, we'll meet at that place. Right. You're going to leave me alone? What if I meet another one of those dragon riders? No, no, I doubt the Black Ring sent out more than one. They couldn't have known that I would interfere, so you should be relatively safe. For a while, at any rate, uh, but don't delay. Get you to the Dwarven Bread Inn as soon as it might be. The other Mark ones. There should be three of you. I have found the first and he's already awaiting us at the Dwarven Bread Inn, but I still have to find the third before the Black Ring gets to him. Very well. Where is the Dwarven Bread Inn? I'll mark it on your map. Follow the road uh, to the south after you've crossed the bridge and then after a few leagues make your way east. Okay, hold on. Ah, well let's mark the map, so it doesn't matter. Yeah. Yeah, could you heal me, please? There you go. Very well. Oh, I almost forgotten. 
I have uh, something for you that could be very useful. You might in your wanderings have seen a strange platforms surrounded by three pillars and with cryptic symbols on them. If you're not, you will doubtless encounter them uh, encounter one soon. These platforms are teleporting devices. They are used in the past in the past to travel around uh, Rivelon. But now, because of the mistrust between the races, they have been allowed to fall into this uh, disuse. It's very sad. Teleport? You mean instant travel? I have heard, oh, I have heard of it in tales. But if we had such a wonder at our disposal, why was it uh, deactivated? Wondrous indeed, but also very dangerous. With these devices, criminals could smuggle any illegal goods, or perhaps an army could be sent behind our front line. Oh, well, very well. It can be reawoken if you know how. You will need an activation scroll to do the trick. So yeah, as I told you, we need... Um, it's like the scroll of human, the scroll of elf, the scroll of dwarves. So yeah, he's giving us another scroll uh, with the map. Uh, for the Elven Scroll, you should speak with Eredor, the Elven Lord. He visits the Archer's Guild now and then. If you tell him with, uh, that Sandalor speaks in your favor, he will know that you are telling the truth. Then he should help you. Very well, so that's it. Sandalor leaves us. Meet the Wizard at the Dwarven Bread Inn. Find the teleporter activation scrolls. Find a solution to the plague. That's what we're doing right now. This is what we have to do at some point. I guess I'll look it up because I don't know. I don't really know what to do. Right. Nice morning star. Ooh. To Alaroth, north. To the farmlands, southeast. No unauthorized camping. To the farmlands, farmlands southeast. Very well then. Let's just move. Okay, so this is where the path ends. And over here, if you go in this direction, you will find a, a growl. A growl is like a troll or something like that. I don't know. But there is a cave there that has uh, rewards or something. If you can kill them all, which is uh, there a lot. Probably we cannot just jet, so I don't know. I'll... I'll leave it there. Oh, what? What's going on here? These are grunts. That's what I meant to say. I don't know what I call them. Grolls. Jupiter and Ferris. Thanks for your help with those trolls, stranger. It's greatly appreciated. Oh, very well. Uh, we need more people like you. This bloody world will be over in no time. What is this world you, uh, you were talking about? Oh, the orcs are attacking from southeast of Rivertown. And now we find the orcs in the forest from which you came as well. And then these trolls suddenly attacked us, uh, bad times are ahead. Oof. So it's a, it's a usual, typical uh, war of the races in Middle Age, in fantasy. You know? Simple soldier. We came here together with a knight named Seth, the paladin we just met, on a mission to reach Aleroth. Us two stay behind to guard the bridge because we notice orcs and trolls on the other side. We must take sh uh, we must make sure they don't reach the farmlands. Lord Seth and a few other soldiers went towards Aleroth. I sure hope they made it there. I met him. He made it safely to Aleroth. The other soldiers, however, died in an orc ambush. Very well then. So from here it's the farmlands I imagine. To Blue Boar Inn, southeast. Come and make a pig of yourself. So that's um that is a 
what would you call it? Hold on. To blue bore in. Right. We gotta we gotta clean the map now. Look at that. Sanity. Uh well we've been, we've been given a few directions. This is General Alex in the army barracks. This is the curse abbey. And that is the dwarven bread in the innkeeping which we have to go and meet a uh, Sundalor later on. Very well then, so uh we're gonna go to the army barracks first of all. How do I kick okay here? But you know, it's never bad to to the cursed abbey northeast. To just scatter around because <clears throat> matter of fact we are giving quests and whatnot around here. Oh yeah. Okay. I don't think this guy is any important though. Uh, he's talking about a woman here. Yeah, he doesn't give you anything. The music though, it's pretty good. Okay, so that's the woman he was talking about. Hello stranger, I'm looking for somebody who could deliver a note to a, a friend of mine, perhaps you're interested. So this is a quest, or well a mission of sorts, a small mission. Well met stranger, what can I do for you? My lover Gareth has joined the army, and I, well I, I have not met the Gareth yet, so he might have been, he might be dead. <laughs> I think he regrets the decision, but he's bound by his oath, and now, because of the orc war, uh, he can't even leave the barracks. I'm greeting him a love letter. We parted with bad words um, that I would take back, uh, but there's no one who can take it to him. I'm paying away for the loss of him. Yeah, okay. Where is he stationed? He does, she doesn't know. My duties here don't allow me to go search for him anyway. I doubt if he damn heartless officers at the barracks would tell me where he is. Hmm. Well, we're gonna go to the barracks. Uh, uh, there it is. Here to the north. Of this place, if I'm not mistaken, it is like a, a sword, which I don't understand what is its purpose. But yeah, your character would only say uh, that sword looks familiar or something like that. It's funny the cat's uh, following the, those things. Night is coming. Music is going. Everything's quiet now. The dog. In any case, just have a look around and we are gonna proceed to go um, <clears throat> to the either to the army barracks or the dwarven bread in. Oh, halt, who's there? Have you heard the terrible news? Calm down, good sir, what are you talking about? The Stormfist castle was attacked. Everyone living in the castle is dead. No, not simply that. They are uh, they were butchered. We're all doomed. I tell you. 
Now they're not just rumors. The castle is no more. I've come directly from Dwarven Bread Inn. Oh look at that, we're going there. There was a man there, uh, there who saw 200, uh, 200 mages attack Stormfield's castle. He saw it with his own eyes. Uh, he said, really? Oh, well. And there is tales of a mysterious plague. But at last the plague won't be too much of a problem. The magical healers in Alabath will uh, deal with this matter. Uh... Don't tell me the healers won't be able to cure the plague. <laughs> uh, let me great. I'm leaving the, uh, this dukedom immediately before everything falls into chaos and destruction. <laughs> okay, so this guy's just dying. Okay. There's more farms here. Uh, you could do well to check these places, like the, the farm places, if you want. I would advise it. I think... We need to make it day. Because you find people, you find things like that, you wouldn't expect it though. And they give you missions and stuff. Very well. Let's follow the the path here. Oh, it's pretty far away, actually. Yeah, these boars are gonna attack you. I, I don't know why I cannot attack him. What does he say? To Blue Boar Inn, East. Come and make a pig of yourself. Mm, right, that's not the one in we want, but... You know... Oof. We want to see it anyway. There is more places around, you see. Uh, remember to sheath the weapon. Uh... Before talking to anyone, because uh, people get freaked out. Say, like, why are you talking to me with your weapon in your hands? I'm pretty sure one of these villages. Uh, oh. Hello, Dr. Elrath. How's the research into finding a cure for the plague going? Mm, nothing. I found nothing so far. I'm I... going home now to continue my researches. I never saw but this. There's a significant increase in the number of the afflicted. Come and get me immediately. As you say, Doctor. Oh, I never saw that. Uh, where's my... Ah, oh, there it is. The doctor gone. Well, in any case, we're in the right path, so let's continue. I never saw that, actually. Oh, who are you now? He's drunk. Uh, wow, wonderful day. By your breath, I bet you can recommend a local ale, can't you? <laughs> ah, he just, uh, he just goes Ve very well, then. The blue boar in. This is the blue boar in. Remember what we do, lads. Uh, we put a little flag. And we go like that. Sorry, I'm waiting with one hand because... Microphone. 
Uh, yeah, all right. Let me see around first. Is there anything here? This is the, the same thing. Poor citizen. Very well. The blue bore in. Let's see what what's in here. Ah, oh, nice music. So, not many people uh, talk to you when you're in these uh, taverns. You're a wizard by the looks of you. Can you magic food out of thin air? Oh, and yeah, you really don't have many options to talk to them, really. That's alright. Hmm. Well, you can take a lot of stuff from here, quite frankly. It's just gonna make me wait. Uh... The container appears locked. Hold on. We can do something about that. It's quite securely locked. I am too weak. But yeah, you can just check out uh, check out everything. You know, this this hatch here takes you down. There is lots of stuff if you're lacking in any um supplements that you need. <clears throat> But hardly anything like um, too impressive. Just a lot of uh, lot of supplies. I didn't. I don't even know why. Oh no! It's not you, is it? Oh, it is you, motherfucker. I fucking hate this guy. Ho, oh, adventurer! I'm glad you found your way to me. Uh, I've just, uh, I've just the things you'll be needing: the rare magical items, powerful artifacts, all promising opportunities, my friend. Well, if you go ahead with this guy, I've got something really special for you. What about a magic carpet? I'm telling you right away, it's a fucking scam. It's just a carpet. Uh, it's really expensive, oh, uh, so I remember. But yeah, I bought the fucking thing. I <clears throat> I expected it to work. I came back to him. He told me the magic word. I used the magic word and it didn't work. So yeah, there it is. It doesn't work. Yep. It's nice fucking music though. I doubt there is anything else to it, though. Around here, I mean. Good morrow to you. Mm. Stay away from me, beggar. Oh, no need to be like that. Uh, not too well, but regarding the, condi uh, the conditions, uh, but I wish I could leave from, uh, from here as soon as possible. She doesn't want to stay. I'm looking for somebody. That's true, you see. My family and I lived in a cottage in a village over gender. Then the orcs were born and pillaged everything. We had to run for our lives with only what we could carry to our names. Uh, where is your family now? They're already in their way to the farmlands. I think we've been in the farmlands. I'm going to follow them as soon as possible. Why? Why this option? <laughs> I know, but we're poor people. Uh, why should they slay us um, if they see we have no money to steal? But before I can go, I have to tell my uncle we're living and where he can come find us. He lives in Verdistis. Okay. This is a city. If I could find somebody who could deliver a letter uh, to him, maybe you are going to Verdistis in the near future. Will you take him uh, our, uh, our letter? 
yes, we are going to uh, this place, but later on, not just yet. <clears throat> so we already have two missions that are concerning <laughs> delivering someone's letters. Yeah, if no one if no one's looking, you can just take stuff. Omar the pirate, Krieg and the hermit. In any case, uh, I'm pretty sure I didn't miss anything. On Trim Daedalus, the Assassin Part 2. Mm, that's interesting. Locked. I know you're gonna try. That's embarrassing. In any case, we're moving towards the barracks. We need to talk to uh, General Alex, as instructed by... The paladin guy. Who's this now? Have you seen him? Have you seen this son of a bitch? <laughs> what? Hold on. I'm looking for my husband, Logan. Oh, that's the guy. That's the drunk guy that took, just talked to us. You dullard. Why do you call me that? I don't... I don't I bet that boss is either sitting in the tavern or this uh, owl sneakily lifting money from the belts uh, of honest folk. My mother warned me not to matter him, but you didn't listen, you fucking idiot. Wait a minute, stealing? Why I encountered a drunken man in front of yonder tavern not long ago? Let me check my gold. What? What the fuck? Didn't I have like 2,000? Oh, you bastard. Okay, change of plans. I usually make notes for the play, for the walkthroughs and whatnot. Where's the bastard? He didn't get in, right? No. Motherfucker. Huh. They were, but that's uh that's a quest I wish to see, quite frankly. In any case, we're gonna keep going towards the, towards, uh, what's it called? Alex, Alex? The only thing I, I don't like, and I think you probably should mod or something like that. To Stormfist Castle, Northeast. Long live the Duke. To Stormfist Castle. Girls Abbey. To Dwarven Bread Inn, Southeast. The best ale in Rivalon. No wine drinkers, please. Oh. <laughs> Very well. So the bread, uh, the Dwarven Bread Inn, it's Southeast. Uh, we know that, right? Oh, yeah, it's there. But we want to go here first. I'm going to go right down. Actually, I don't even know if I should follow the this trail uh, instead of. Uh... Oh, look at that! 
It's a castle, uh, some sort of palace. Hold on. Back off with that weapon. Oh shit, sorry. Good morning, miss. Is there anything to watch uh, the watch can do for you? Ah, oh, well, they don't say anything. Do they sell anything? No. Hmm. Greetings, citizen. I am Ralph Commander of the Town Guard. What can I do for you? Has there been any trouble uh, hereabouts lately? I know not where to start. The Duke's death. Oh, this is very important already. I didn't know we were gonna tackle this today. The plague in the poor quarters, orcs gathering in the border. There's a storm and uh, of troubles brewing. That's for sure. So the Duke's death is very important thing. I try to remember that. <clears throat> what can you tell me about the Duke's death? I don't believe he died natural death, that's for sure, but my uh, superiors refuse to accept my suspicions. Hmm. What are the circumstances of the Duke's death? Uh, the Duke was hunting when he was uh, hit in the leg by an arrow. It wasn't serious, but mere hours later, after a, uh, a, fe uh, a bout of a fever, he lay dead. The visual explanation is that a member of the hunting party accidentally let loose an arrow. Uh, and it hit the duke and he died as a result. No one dies as, uh, of such simple wound. I believe the arrow was poison. Yeah, that's probably... Uh, and let loose by an assassin. Maybe, perhaps can I help? My duties prevent me uh, from sp spending enough time investigating myself. Your help is welcome. Go and speak to Sir Dante. He's a rich merchant living in Verdis this. Yeah, here, I'll mark this location on your map. It's my suspicion that the Assassin Guild is involved. involved. Well, I mean, the Assassin Guild probably involved the assassination. Very well then. I gotta expose the Duke's murder and... And my buddy George murdered as well. Oh. Excuse me, my lady, but that door leads to my private rooms. Alright, so this is the barracks. It's a big fucking place. Ooh. Oh, look at that. It's massive. The barracks. Stand up straight, you horrible little man. That's funny. Very well then. So, these are the barracks. And this is uh, Commander Ralph. It is General Alex. I, uh, it's inside. Let's see. Uh, Pretty the lady. Oh, don't call me that fucking idiot. <laughs> Playing with a woman, dude. With a bur uh, burly soldier, do you? I need to talk to General Alex. Where can I find her? The general is currently at the co at the command post. It's the little building in the middle of the army barracks. Let us go. Right it's here. Mm. Nothing else around. <clears throat> Very well. Oh, there. These are uh, the quarters of General Alex. Do you have any appointment? No, I don't, but I carry a message from Lord Seth for General Alex. Excellent, General Alex uh, has been anxiously waiting for news from Seth Command. 
Let's go in at once. Greetings, stranger. What can I do for you? <clears throat> uh, I have met Lord Seth and have bad news. It appears his group was ambushed by orcs near Aleroth. Only he survived the massacre. The orcs are behind uh, our front lines and are now threatening Aleroth and the surrounding farmlands. And the entire group has been annihilated. This is an intolerable. Where is Seth now? Uh, Lord Seth remained at Aleros to protect the village against orcs attacks. It's no, uh, it's no small wonder that I'm still alive. Those damn foul smelling orcs are everywhere. You seem to be capable, uh, a capable fighter with some wits about you. I sent Seth and his group to healers to inform them that they are required in Rivertown. It seems the plague has broken out. Uh, they do, uh, do you know if the healers will come to our aid? <clears throat> the healers are willing to help, but the threat of orcs is near, uh, in the nearby forest prevents the safe passage to Rivertown. Ah, look at that. I shall dispatch an armed es escort uh, to take care of the healers as soon as possible. You have proven very resourceful and unafraid to risk your neck. Should the cause uh, feed your morals, can I persuade you to perform some more tasks for me? Sure. Excellent. I know a stout adventurer when I lay my eyes upon one, even if he addresses like a, if he dresses like a magician. <laughs> you are to deliver uh, this sealed letter to Captain Mitox. You can find him in the village to the south, near the border of Dukedom. Be careful as the village is under siege. Uh, yeah, give me some equipment. As long as you are in the employee of the Ducal Army, you can have access to our armory. You have my leave to take whatever you need. Very well. We can now take stuff, it seems. General, they are coming. The orcs are... Uh, they are attacking the barracks. But I haven't armored myself. This is the only thing you got. Wait, that's it? Oh, they killed them all. Uh, ooh. Well, I cannot use none of this, really. Can I? I have too much to carry. I must drop some items first. I have too much to carry. I must drop some yes, items first. Yes, don't worry first. about it. Well, that's we are making some progress within this uh, requests. This is Aleroth, by the way. Oh, yeah, I had too much weight. I think this is uh, prepared to equip uh, the best. I have too much to carry. I must drop some items first. Best items. I can't use it on that. Yes, honey. Sorry about that. Friend can cannot use this. Either this. Have these two things now. It won't work with that. Contact Captain Mitox. Very well. There we go. Now. Oh, here it is. We're gonna go right over there. No hesitation. We need to go there because then we have to go uh, back to the farmlands. Oh. Foul creature. Who are you? Maybe we could spare some gold for a family that lost everything during the orc raids. <laughs> okay, so here's the thing. Remember the lad that I told you about? He sold me the... Um, 
a magic carpet and it wasn't a magic fucking carpet. Well, something like this happened to me once and turns out this is the thief's guild that stole from me. Um, I mean, the guy's asking for three gold. Yeah, okay. A thousand thanks. I'm on my way to the castle, you know. The Duke uh, must help uh, help us uh, war victims or we'll starve. My house is in the next village. If you follow the road to the southeast, we were attacked by the green screen savages and they burned everything to the ground. Horrible indeed. If you pass through the village, you'll find a hatch inside my house. The secret tunnel leads smack into the center of a nearest orc encampment. Ooh, that is actually... <clears throat> I didn't remember this. This is very important information. Uh, I used to do a bit of smuggling in better times. I don't know if it uh, will be useful to you, but kill a green screen for me if you find a reason to draw a weapon down that way. That is interesting indeed. Mining shaft to the uh, orc camp. Mm, we're not gonna go there just yet. We need to go to Captain Metox. Okay, so this, this is swarming with orcs. I don't know how people do, uh, like, kiting or something in this game. It's a big orc. The level up just in time. I am very lucky, aren't I? Ah, oh, I forget I had to always be making a save, a, a safety save. It's very necessary in this game. Hmm, I think this is the area that I'm thinking about, really. Yeah, I think this is it, or it looks similar at least. Yeah, it is. So in this sort of area is where you can drop your scorpion traps and you can farm uh, big enemies. Oh. Okay. Oh, this guy's dead. We saved him. This place is full of works. Okay, so here's the captain, I, I, I imagine. This is, uh, oh well. So I look at this. Cooking recipes. Mm, some stories. This looks like a scroll of teleport, maybe. Okay, that's the captain. What's he doing? Where are you going? I need to speak to you. Greetings, soldiers. Name's Captain Midas. I'm in charge of the garrison of this village. What's left of it, that is. Uh, General Alex uh, bade me to deliver this seal note to you, Captain. Uh, thank you, soldier. Whoever you are, you look fresh and you must be a good fighter to win through to us. Before you report back to General Alex, I want you to undergo a mission for me. Oh, look at that. <clears throat> okay. 
Uh, <laughs> I am not one of your damn soldiers. I am a freebooting mercenary. <laughs> what the hell? Ah, oh, it's the only options I have. I actually want to do this thing. Yeah. The orcs can only maintain siege as long as they are uh, they've access to plenty of supplies. I want you to ambush their supply train and destroy it with some explosives. Don't worry, they're not magical. They are some mm, chemical concoction made by our alchemist. Just follow the instructions on the packaging. <laughs> well, that's very clever, actually. That's a good good thing. I'll mark the spot uh, where my scout spotted the supply train on your map. I see. I'll do my best. Very well. Here are the explosives. Good luck. Oh, and one more thing. Rebooter. I know that I'm asking a lot from an unpaid mercenary, but maybe with this scroll could be useful to you. It is the activation scroll for the human teleporters. Oh, look at that. Thanks. Uh, I actually left. I actually left before I equipped myself in a better way. Wait, what is that? Has been sold. Panesco for the healers. I already done that. Okay. That is done. Which one is the tan of... Uh... Of the equipments. You cannot get in none of this though. Oh, where is that? Ah, oh, there's lots of them. Very well then. Let us move. Almost 40, let's go. Uh, where am I? Mining shovel. I feel like I probably shouldn't be here. Okay, at least we know where it is. Sorry, I can't use that. Right. So, we've been given uh, lots. We've been given a lot of um, a lot of information. So, there is a, a house in the farm. No, not in the farmlands. There is a house southeast that has a an underground passage towards the orcs. We want to, sm uh, to to sneak past the orcs and flood an explosive, so we know that. That's interesting. There is the the whole mission with Alex and Mitox. We need to go to that uh, tavern to meet Sandalor, and we still need to head in uh, to get in touch with the with the paladin with uh, Lord Seth. But you know the um, the episode just run uh, fly by. We're running out of time, so we'll have to leave it here for today. I hope to see you in the next episode. I hope you enjoy it. And thanks a lot for watching. Yeah, uh, I know it's a lot of um, just gameplay, non, not really explanatory. But if you follow along, I promise you the story, it, uh, entire story will be unravel. I am not just doing a normal walkthrough, um, a normal playthrough. Hey, here's me just playing the game. I am doing my research before just because I want to showcase the, um, everything that it's um, dialogue, everything that it's main quest, uh, secondary, everything that I can do in, a, in the flow um, and not cut too much, as you know. But yeah, uh, just stick around if you want to learn the story of the game. And I'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.